What's up y'all, welcome back. I'm just fooling around here with some ideas inspired by Book of White in this next video that we're gonna watch. This is really an amazing video. I'm really looking forward to showing you. He has some crazy techniques that, you know, for me, it's gonna take a really long time to get all the techniques down, but I still wanted to share this video with y'all because I think it's so cool, it's really fun to watch. So instead of getting all the really small details and stuff like that, let's go over the big ideas, just the main ideas, and get y'all going in the right direction. Let's watch this one together. It's a really, really fun one, and I think y'all will like it. Let's check it out. Cool resonator. <laughs> That's the, one of the cool things I want to show you guys. Killer voice. This is so cool. Really powerful thumb. <laughs> Let me stop it here. One of the things that really tricked me on this one, it kind of stumped me for a little bit, was trying to figure out the tuning on this. You can tell right away it's in an open tuning, so you know the first guesses are gonna be maybe open G, maybe open E, maybe open D. It's none of those. It's actually another tuning called cross note tuning, which is basically E minor tuning. So it's kind of like open E minor. You're just going to tune up the fifth and fourth strings up a whole step so that it would simulate this E minor chord. Now he's actually even higher up than that. So he's almost in between open F minor and almost open F sharp minor. He's, you know, of course he's tuning by ear here, so he's in between kind of F and F sharp. It's kind of like there, if I bend that note F kind of halfway up. That's the tuning he's in. So once you get that, it's a little bit easier to follow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over my guitar. All right, so what I actually decided to do here was to go to open D minor, uh, which is just open D tuning uh, with the F note instead of F sharp on the, on the uh, third string there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to capo it up on the third fret. The reason for that is because I've got really thick strings on this resonator guitar and pulling those strings all the way up to F it's, or even farther than that, like kind of in between F and F sharp, it's, it's not going to be good for this guitar and uh, it's going to be way too hard to play. So uh, this will be a little bit better. So. Um, So one thing I want to show you, so once you get in this tuning, it's really kind of just this little hammer on. So it's kind of like doing a very heavy boom chuck. And he's, you know, hammering on that major third on the third string, which is going to be open to first. Kind of playing a lot of you know off of this relative e chord and then this kind of relative a type chord and back into that that's the kind of the main riff he's got a really heavy thumb i mentioned that when he was playing earlier he's really digging in on those notes and giving it a lot of attitude So let's keep watching and see if uh, we can kind of pick some of these other things out. Yeah. Let's, let's stop it there. So that's one of the. So that's one of the really cool things I really wanted to show y'all. When I saw that, I was like, oh, I gotta do this one. But um, what he's doing there is he's he's hammering on, doing a trill with the left hand. 
between the open and second fret of the fifth string. And while he's doing that, he's going back and forth like this. So putting a <laughs> and then he kind of goes back into that main riff. It's something like that, right? So the, this is kind of the fun thing to do. And I think this is really it's just a fun thing to practice. And you can also, instead of doing the hammer on, just kind of do a slap like this. And it's just kind of like one hand, a two hand, a three hand, a four hand, a one hand, a two hand, a three hand, a four hand. It's a, it's a really quick rhythm. Um, but it's so fun to do that and kind of it's just something extra to add into your playing. That's something that'll turn people's heads, you know? It's just kind of an interesting technique and it, it looks cool and it's really fun to play too. Let's keep watching. So there, before there, he was kind of playing some of the melody. some of that melody while he's singing so he's kind of going between that third fret and second fret back that up and listen to it one more time Let me stop there before we start going up the neck. Um. Now that's not exactly what he's playing, but this gives you something kind of close to work on. something close to kind of work on that kind of doing that pull off uh, of course he's singing at the same time which makes it so much harder that's what makes him great I mean it's such a killer voice too it's really it's so cool like listening to him sing and, and watching this video too so let's keep going Just kind of get the big ideas here so you know you go an octave I can barely reach that that's the idea it's kind of coming up here it's relative 12th fret and then later and he's kind of using I guess he's keeping that index finger down here and then trying to slide with the on kind of the first string with the pinky. Uh. got such a straight face when he sings it's amazing to hear that much power coming out of his voice I, I, I 
somebody tip it up to my Kind of there, but a little bit before. He's kind of doing that. A little something like that. It's kind of... And then a lot of kind of these notes from the minor pentatonic on the first string. Let's just keep watching it, see if he does anything else. Interesting form. Like how long he plays each part. She going out on red now. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> A little cool ending there. And then he says that cool thing at the end. <laughs> so that's the end of it. You know, hopefully you got something out of it. You know, the main idea is, is like if you're trying to learn this style, what I would recommend really is to get in some kind of open tuning or even even with a standard tuning could be okay, but get on the thumb pick so you can really so you can really dig in. If you're not digging in and like really giving it a lot of energy, it, it's just not gonna sound that it's too gentle sounding if you don't really kind of give it a lot, like this is like like that's a little too gentle, right? It needs to be more like It needs to be a little bit more like that. Kind of a lot more attitude, a lot more kind of. And this is a way that I think is a good way to practice. It's just kind of like with that muted strum and trying to just play it like kind of you're like a drummer. Like one, two, three, and four, and 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 one. And let me slow that down. So it's one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two. I'm just going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then the fingers are adding one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two. And that's just a starter, right? That's just something to get you guys going in the right direction. So I had a lot of fun showing you this one. This is a really cool video and I just wanted to, I watched it and I knew that I really wanted to share it. So hopefully y'all got something out of this. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.